Whew. It is so hot today, folks. Look at that. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, it's about 25 degrees. It is incredibly hot. Wasn't going to do a video today. We were going to go and enjoy ourselves down at the beach. Uh, you know, maybe have a little swim, maybe chill out, you know, do some uh, nice things here. But, uh, ah, life doesn't always go to plan like that, does it? So, uh, yeah, the tap broke on the sink last night. So every time we turn this tap on here to run the sink for uh, dishes or similar like that, so let's just say we turn that on like so. Well, of course, that runs in here now. So uh, that's not great. That's not great. So although I hadn't planned to do any work today, it looks like I'm swapping out the bathroom sink taps. Right, okay, so here we are inside the bathroom again. I've got some tools. Right, let's have a look, see what we can do. Hopefully, it won't be too complicated because Bevan's is only open for a few hours today because it's Sunday today, but they do helpfully open in high season for a few hours at a time. So, right, I'm just gonna pop the camera down. Uh, I'll do it so it's looking at the tap. And we can see what we're doing, and uh, yeah, let's see how we get on here, folks. Let's see how we get on here. Oh yeah, perfect view, right? So got these little caps that pop off. There we go. Oh yes, rusty screws, my favourite. Lovely. Now I'm hoping I can get just a direct replacement. We'll just change the whole lot. Um, on here from Bevan's. I'm just going to put the sink plug in because I've fallen for this one before when you suddenly realise you dropped the screw down the sink that you need. Anywho, right. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, first one's coming. That's the main thing. Right, screw. This happened last night when I was brushing my teeth and I couldn't quite face going to get a screwdriver because I thought well I could possibly push something down the hole here and turn it because you can see what this actually turns um, and you can see there it's only quite sort of brittle plastic so uh, plastic's just probably fatigued though I am waiting for the keyboard warriors to tell me that we were probably just too rough and that theirs have lasted years and yada 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 I think what a lot of people forget with us is we live full time in this caravan and we have done so since summer 2018 and uh, this tap gets a heck of a lot of use really and uh, I think people tend to forget that so yeah I mean it probably would have lasted a lot longer if we weren't living in it every single day right so I'm just gonna have a look for a Stanley blade to try and separate uh, that there I'm going to be fairly careful when I do this. I couldn't find the Stanley blade. So I'm just going to try and gently ease it up with this screwdriver. Oh. But obviously everything's plastic, so there's a risk of breakage. Easy tiger. Aha, nearly there. Now what I'm probably going to have to do as well is disconnect the water system because obviously as you can see this is still dripping all over my hands here. So I'll disconnect the water system in a bit. Okay. Right, well, let's see if we can get this out a bit more. Something's holding it down at the bottom so I'll have to have a little look underneath and see but what I might do is drain the water system down first. Okay, yeehaw, we have got it done. We've got it off. So, let's just have a little look underneath and see what we're dealing with. <coughs> it's 
glasses on the back. Sunglasses on, no wonder I can't see. Right. So, I don't know how much of this you're catching, but I think... Yeah, that's what's causing that one there to be a bit tight. So, come that into here. That's it, you can probably see a bit better. So I disconnected both of these from this side yesterday. Both of those cables, just so it would stop the, 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 uh, the pump from running continuously. Uh, but in the end, what we had to do was just turn off the um, 12 volt pump fuse switch. So, uh, we've got these two over here. Going up there, in terms of cabling. So I'm going to disconnect those two now. They're just spade connectors, which are nice and simple. Actually then hopefully give me a bit more room up top here. He says. <laughs> right. Okay. Lovely. And obviously now I've got the elbow connectors there, so I'm going to probably put a couple of new elbow connectors on. These simply just disconnect by pushing down on that collar. Maybe you can't see that very well. So a little collar just here, you push down on that, and then that releases them. So I'm going to put the camera down, and I'll do that now. Okay, so that's the cold one removed. Uh, okay, just gonna do the hot one. Do the same thing again. Then we've got the tap out. Happy days. Fortunately, it's a bit weepy down here, so I just used an old there's a laundry just to uh, catch any drips. Right, okay, so that's, I've decided to connect them both at this end. I just figured it was easier than trying to get these elbows off at this end. But what I probably will be tempted to do is replace both these elbows anyway, because uh, why the heck not? Why the heck not? But taps out, so I can nip down to Bevan's now and uh, see if Tracy's got another one for me, which would be super helpful if she has. And then hopefully the uh, reinstallation will just be the reverse of the removal and everything will go to plan. However, I've been here before. Okay, let's get on with it. Da -da 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 -da. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, so I've just gotten back from Bevan's camping in Clangovney. And uh, they did have the whole tap unit, but the spout of the tap was long, like the kitchen one is long. Although that's not really that long. Anyway, forget that. So they did have the long ones, and we wondered whether it might overhang the base. And then Tracy said, oh, look, I can just sell the individual tap knobs. Knobs? Handles? Oh, the knobs. Okay, we'll call them knobs. Um, and obviously you just take off the blue band from there and you can stick it onto that one and then that's Kush. Um, the reason why I was sort of umming and ahhing because the full tap set obviously came with both new handles and the micro switches. Now the micro switches are 4 dollars each. They don't need, don't need changing. But considering that I've got the whole tap unit out, it just makes sense to do some preventative maintenance uh, and change them now, really. So, so by the time I put on like the two new micro switches, the whole new tap, and everything else, with the um, at the time I thought I'd have to buy two, uh, a pair of these. Um, it was only about twenty quid difference in it anyway, so that's what I was umming R about. And then Tracy said, "Oh, you know, I sell these separately, don't you?" And I was like, "No, I didn't." So that makes a huge difference to us. So cool I can get that put back together the only thing I've got to try and do is if you look down there I may not be able to see it but that's actually the the stem of the tap which are broken off if you look at these two here together so that bit there is actually stuck inside the tap body 
So I'm going to have to try and fish that out somehow. Um, and I haven't got the genius ideas for that at the moment, but I'm sure I will work something out. It's still incredibly hot here today. It's, it's, oh, well, I don't know what's... It's like 27, I think. Yeah, 27 on our little ca uh, gadget here. And you can see that, 27. And it's actually warmer outside, I think, than it is inside. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're both sweating a bit, but um, this is not the ideal day to be doing this. But never mind. We'll persevere. Right, let me try and work out how to fish this thing out. I think I'm going to try and run a tiny drill bit down inside it and then pop a screw in it and see if I can pull it out like that. Otherwise, I should be able to take all that apart, but I don't really want to do that. Right, to the garage! <laughs> I love that you picked the messiest day in the caravan to film a video as well. Like, we have a tight spot for ages. It's just how we live, folks. It's just how we oh, live. No. The truth is out. <laughs> <laughs> So here I am in the garage, I've got the Dremel out, and the idea is I'm going to drill out using a small Dremel drill bit, drill out there and see if we can get that bit extracted by popping a screw in down the drill hole. So let's just find some really tiny, tiny drill bits, I don't know if you can see that, um, but that's probably going to be a bit thin, a bit small for the job. So I'm looking something around that size, uh, which is a little bit, a little bit bigger. So let's give it a go, let's see what we can do. I think I've said it before, but these Dremels are absolutely excellent for things like this. Let's see. Hopefully, the drill bit will be long enough to get a bit of a purchase because it's quite deep. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, that was easier. Whoa! <laughs> I'll snap the drill bit as well. Never mind. But at least the job is done. Uh, I've got the bit out of them there, and that was quite a bit easier than what I thought it was going to be. So um, there we are. Never mind. Never mind. So let's get back. Let's fit the new tap. And uh, let's change the micro switches on the side there. Got one there, one there. They don't need doing, but preventive and maintenance. Let's get it done. All right. Back to the caravan. Okay, so we're back from the garage and we've got the, the tap here. And I've obviously, as you saw before in the garage, got the, the bit out the end. And there we are. That was what had broken off inside the tap. So, as you can see, there's no chances of repairing that bit or making this good again. Uh, it's completely gone. So, hopefully, now it'll be a fairly prompt job of getting all put back together. So, next little thing I need to do is I need to change this micro switch here and it should just be a fairly straightforward job of uh, getting that cover off there the plastic cover there we go and then you've got the micro switch here and they use just there we are just pull off you see there's two little stems there and you see the two little holes in there so they just slot on like that I've got the replacement micro switches here now I always tend to have a couple of these in stock because they're the sort of things that fail kind of frequently. I'm trying to get into it now. There we are, brute force. But yeah, it's always worthwhile keeping a few of these in stock because they um, they do fail quite often and it can be a bit of a nuisance. So, I don't know which way was it now? Check that side. So that side is to the left. So that side will be to there, I think. We can give it a whirl and find out in a second. And push them on the little stems. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Right. Just pop the new tap in. See if it goes on and off. Oh yeah, can you hear? I don't know if you can hear that clicking. There we are. So that's uh, that's making contact now. So that's good. And you can see as I turn as I, as I turn the tap round to the off position, the switch is out. And then as you turn it round, you'll see it just make contact there. See it? And that's basically how they work. And that puts the motor on. 
And the 12 volt submersible pump outside the Aquarol just runs flat out because it's, it's like it's basically switching it on or off. And um, it's the, the, the flow is done by this valve here. So the pump just pumps, 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 and the, the, the flow is controlled by, by this valve here on the tap. So quite a simple system, really. Anyway, right, let's get the other one changed out. So let's pop this back on. Thick piece to the top. Lovely. There we go. Super. We'll do the same on the other side. That one looks like it's been replaced more recently on this side, actually. I'd say that one is the original one that came with the caravan. And this one's been replaced. But we'll keep them both as emergency spares. Especially this one's still got the three prongs on it. So there we are. Take that one off. Okay. So... We want to go like that, I believe. Is that tap on or off? Make sure it's off. There we are. Still on more nicely. Oh no, I think it's the other way. I didn't even touch the switch. <laughs> there we go. Try again. And we have to be quite gentle with these plastic components. There we are. You can hear that clicking and off, clicking on and off again there. So good. That's that one. Put that bound around on top of there, and we're ready for reinstallation. Happy days. I was going to replace these um, elbows, um, and I forgot to buy them. <laughs> so. <laughs> My fault completely. So hopefully when, when we reattach them they won't leak because they, they do have a little habit sometimes of being a bit weepy once they've been undone. But um, fingers crossed they will be okay for me this time and uh, we'll get away with it. I've got one spare in my caravan spares box but I haven't got two so if one leaks I'll be alright. If both leak then it'll be another quick trip down to Bevan's. Right let's get this installed. I'm going to clean up the silicone that's on the sink and um, we can we can screw this down. Okay, to the bathroom. Okay, so we're back in the bathroom and we're gonna have a little go at whoops, knocking everything over. Uh, and then refitting the taps. So I'm going to offer them up first and just make sure that when I... Um, ooh, that's a tight fit, isn't it? There we go. Oh, mystery. Okay, I wasn't expecting this to be the problem. <coughs> it's catching on the pins, which is why I wonder whether that was the reason why they were bent in in the first instance. Let's see if I can... Gently ease it in somehow. What if I get that side in first, like so? <laughs> Hashtag, this is not meant to be the difficult bit. Culture, you can't force this at all because everything's plastic and everything breaks so easily. Okay, smarty pants. Maybe putting the micro switches on first wasn't the best idea. See how close we are there. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm going to remove the micro switch off that one so I can get the tap back in. Here we go. Let's take this micro switch off. Then. Actually, get the thing out. That is not wanting to come off. There we go. Right. 
So, so remember, switch end to the wall. Switch end to the wall. Right. Oh, go on. Wow, I can't believe how fiddly this is to get back in. What's it catching on? There we are. Lovely. Right, let's pop this micro switch back on then. <laughs> and we'll just check to make sure everything's working. And then uh, we will um, silicone it down, screw it down, and then leave it a cure. And hopefully that'll be the little tap project fixed. Switch end to the wall. Switch end to the wall. Uh, like that. Is that right? I can't see anything. Must be about right. There we go, that's that on. I don't suppose it matters much, but I'm gonna reconnect it how it was when it came off. Why is that so tight now? Right. Woohoo, that gives me a bit more cable length. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. you on the middle pin. Good. And then green. Have you on the pin closest to the wall? Superb. Do the other side. I had hoped to be able to wire all this up without having to go underneath, but uh, hey ho, life doesn't always work the way you want it to, right? What's going on? There we go, lovely. Uh, oh no, I'm going to put that on the wrong one. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on. There we are. Right. And then there's the other one. Right, so let's just see if I pop these back in as well. Hopefully they won't leak on me. And the hot. Uh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Oh my god, I'm so hot, so sweaty. <sighs> this is not the day to be doing this sort of job, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Right, let me pop the. Is that on or off? Okay, I shall orientate them correctly later on. So that should be off, on, off. Good. Yeah, I'll orientate it now. Pride in the job. Right, in theory, if I go and put the pump back on, uh, and in fact I've also got these, so I've lost one of them, so I'll then put that, put that on the same time. Right. What are you lost? There we are. Let's go and put these on outside, put the pump back in, and then fingers crossed we'll have some water.
Well, I'm not sure how well that will work, but we'll give it a go. The, we lost a clip on those clips a while ago, or it broke rather, and occasionally the pump sort of draws in air, and we're going to go out and give it a, a jiggle. But anyway, right. Uh, ba 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 pump. Oh, something's come on. Oh yeah, because all the taps are up. <laughs> Showers on everything. Woo! Gosh, water. Ah, right, turn it off. Turn it off, off, off. <sighs> right. So let's just see whether this works. Oh, yes. Bit of air in the system, that's okay. That both side works. Lovely. So, I'm happy. Let's get the silicone down. Just give up, just give up. Right, sorry about that folks. The, um, <laughs> unbelievably, the, 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 the wire for the microphone uh, got caught on the light down here and everything just went tumbling. So, uh, there we are, what are the chance of that? The dangers of YouTube. So I'm gonna just pop some silicone under here. I'm gonna go a little bit liberal because uh, you know, I don't want any leaks to deal with in it afterwards. Um, oh, that's a bit of a gammy bit. Hopefully I've got enough left in this tube. It's not a huge amount left, but hopefully it'll be enough just to uh, seat this down nicely. Not a lot of room to work in this back end. We'll see how we get on. Okay. And I'll also pop some down around the edges once it's screwed down as well. Let's make sure it's got a good fixing. Okay, I can see the screw holes there. Now if I could be bothered to go to the garage, I would actually change these screws because they're all rusty and horrible, but I uh, I can't. So uh, they can just go back in and they'll do the job. not getting much of a purchase on the wood but with the silicone there it won't have to worry too much it's actually quite amazing how much of a bond silicone has because I use it glue toilets with and all sorts down if you've got tiled floors and it, it's some tiles are quite difficult to drill through when you're putting your, your toilet pan in and so sometimes if you just put it in position, silicone it, um, you'll find it'll never actually move. Alright, there's those screws in again, not much of a purchase, but it'll be fine. I'm just gonna do this with my finger today. I've got some silicone shaping tools in the garage, but I think it doesn't really warrant that level of repair. And I think that is it folks, I think we're done. All that's left to do now is pop the little white dust caps on, all screw covers, wipe off any excess silicone with a bit of tissue. job done. So there you are folks, if your bathroom tap fails or if it leaks or anything like that, that's how you make the repairs to it. Really quite straightforward. You can handle the removal, you can see how it all goes back together. No need to get a caravan engineer up for such a small job. Uh, the only real tools I've used is a few screwdrivers, plastic scraper to remove the old silicone, some silicone itself, um, and the rest of it's just been able to be done by hand. So there we are folks, get yourself a new tap or a new tap part. I was quite surprised actually how modular these things were, how they, those can be replaced, this can be, you can get spare ones of these, all sorts of the caravan shop. So take out the whole unit and then go along to the caravan shop, see what they've got in stock and then just replace what you need to replace. But other than that, I think that's us done. Fantastic.